This is Dalim Vargato from Trimax Solutions with another quick tech tip that will save you a lot of time when you try to select small entities or obscure entities. So I'm going to show you the magnifying glass that can work for local zooms, but also for X-rays. So let's start with the local zoom. If I ask you right now to apply an overall horizontal dimension for this shelf, many of you will have to zoom uh, to the left of it first. Notice all these little edges that are so hard to select. Maybe start the dimension tool, select one of the edges, then zoom out. So spin the wheel, uh, spin it again on the other side, select the other edge and apply the dimension. Not fun. Not only it's time consuming, but we get distracted by following the mouse, spinning the wheel, instead of thinking about the next design step uh, or detailing step. So let's try something else. I'm going to delete this dimension. Maybe, if anything, I will zoom just to this view. So it's a, I'm a bit closer. And let's activate, first of all, the dimension tool, and then the magnifying glass. G allows you, so G as a keyboard shortcut, allows you to turn this on and off. It's an on-off switch. So toggle on, toggle off. With the, magnifying, <coughs> with the magnifying glass activated, you can just spin the wheel to change the local zoom factor. Now I can select this edge. From here, I have two options. Either I press G again to turn it off, move my mouse to the other side, press G to turn it on, select the edge, and apply the dimension. Right? So that's, that's one thing I can do. What else can I do? Well, let's try again. This time I'm going to try to select um, one of the edges at the top. So G, maybe this one. Next, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and the middle mouse button. And notice what I'm doing. I'm moving to the other side. So I can move the magnifying glass with whatever zoom factor I already predetermined to the other side. I release the Alt key. I select the edge. I apply the dimension. I'm good to go. Let's press the G key to turn it off. So this was the use case for selecting small entities inside the drawing. Remember, we can do the same thing in parts and assemblies. Now, let's select an obscured entity inside an assembly or a multi-body part. Let me switch to an assembly. And let's select something that is obscured by this cover. I'm going to start the magnifying glass. I'm going to press the G key. And I'm going to set a zoom factor that is as close as possible to one to one. So I'm going to spin the wheel until this is no longer showing a zoom at all. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to spin the wheel again. Now imagine there is a plane that is parallel to the screen that I'm pushing back by spinning the wheel. And this plane cuts and removes everything that lays between itself and my eyes. Once I'm getting the cut depth that I need, I can even release the Alt key. And uh, let's just take a look what we can find inside. Take a look. That's pretty nice. Right? Maybe I want to select this face. There you go. I just selected something that otherwise would be much harder to achieve, especially when you don't know what's in there.